climate influences nearly everything. The distribution of plants and animals across Pacific Islands is profoundly tied to rainfall and temperature. Climate change is already evident in Pacific Island National Parks. For example, increased temperatures are leading to the bleaching of corals in some sensitive areas of American Samoa. The sea level is rising, and storm surges threaten coastal sites in many national parks. Climate change-related droughts could affect each island's precious freshwater supplies. And warmer conditions allow bird disease-carrying mosquitoes to invade higher elevations. This forces native Hawaiian birds to migrate even higher or face extinction. It's never been more important for the National Park Service Inventory and Monitoring Program to record and track climate data in the national parks of the tropical Pacific. We look for changes in climate patterns and trends in temperature, rainfall, and wind speed and direction. We also keep track of the frequency, extent, and duration of extreme weather events like droughts or tropical cyclones. By tracking these weather patterns, we can provide researchers and park managers with vital data about climate change conditions and trends. And through close cooperation with other federal, state, and local agencies, we can detect how the climate changes across the Pacific Islands. That's why we're keeping an eye on the sky.